All right, and welcome back to the Gospel Train. Welcome back to the New Music Exchange. My special guest today is the one and only Levine Nichols. We just heard a brand new single, Trust. Okay, so um, when 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 people hear Trust, what message are you? And you kind of touched on this earlier, but what message are you trying to convey to the listener? Um, the message is that there's hope, um, that, you know, you're not in this situation by yourself. So sometimes it really was a conversation that I was having with God. And so at some point in the song, you see that it shifts where he kind of talks back to me, but it was basically a conversation of, you know, me saying, God, you know, it's really, it's really crazy right now. And I, I don't know, um, what's going on, but I believe. I believe that, you know, you will take care of me. You said you will, and I know you will. And so um, it's really that. And then there was a, a line where it is now God speaking and confirming those things. So um, I really just want people to, to believe, you know, of course, I want people to believe that, you know, there is, you know, a savior that wants to care for them, that, that they can trust them. And when they don't know where to go, that that's where you can go. Wow. Okay. So what was the, what, what was your process like as far as recording that? And is it different to record a song that you actually wrote and pretty much produced or worked with another producer on as opposed to just covering another artist or another gospel song? Yeah, it absolutely is different. I feel like when you have your own song, when you're covering a song, you can take a lot of their inflections, the things that they did, and just kind of copy it. Kind of make it your own, but copy it. When you're doing it yourself, like you are the original. And so you can make it as big as you want or as tame as you want. And so it's like finding that balance um, in the song. It was definitely a different process for me. I've been in a studio quite a bit before um but this is music that I'm, I'm putting out um and it, it's been different it's that whole process my whole music journey process has been long and so I know a lot of people would say it's been a long time coming because they've seen me out here doing my thing for a while but to produce um new music during a pandemic is hard <laughs> it, it didn't it was like it was a test of trust the whole way along because a lot of what we were doing we started off face to face me and my producer Donald but then we had to switch to doing um zoom calls to get a lot of the work done until we were able to see each other face to face again and actually get in a studio so for months you know we had to do what everybody else was doing in quarantine and not be able to really record the music um which was supposed to have been done um I think we the music was supposed to be have been done in like March, March or April. And so it didn't come out until September. <laughs> so oh. it was a whole process in waiting and trusting that God, you know, this this was supposed to come out. Um, but once we were able to actually get in the studio, um and uh yeah, once we were able to get into the studio, we had the musicians there and we did we did our take uh, a couple of takes and ran through it and you know did all that process. But the thing about being able to do Zoom and have that time to practice, I was able to like kind of get in the studio, do what I had to do and get out. So that <laughs> that was good. But um yeah, it's it's been it definitely was a a a process doing new music during COVID. Wow. Okay, so we're talking to Levine Nichols. Uh, in that case, let me ask you this. When, when you hear your song on the radio, mm -hmm. and so like on a show like today, uh, you're going to be on the radio with uh, the, the Winans, uh, 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 now I'm drawing a blank, the Clark, not the Clark, well, maybe the Clark sisters, uh, the Clara Ward singers, uh, all these people who are staples in gospel music, and now your song is playing. I mean, do you feel, do you feel uh, an added pressure, or do you feel that okay, like, wow, how is my song going? Like, how is my song going to measure up to all these other songs that you know people could be listening to? Um, you know, it, it definitely is like you, you put your sound out and you hope that it, it, it is radio because 
some there's music that's not really radio ready or can flow in a in a playlist of music um and the first time that it was played on you know a national radio station and i heard it in the midst of great artists right. and i was like wait a minute it just feels like i'm on you know listening to the regular radio and my song flows in it and you don't know you don't know and yeah. i was just like okay i think it's great my producer thinks it's great but when you have other people and other radio hosts like yourself and djs and program directors that are willing to put it in the middle of music that's been out here for years right. it's it's very humbling. <laughs> I will say it's very humbling. You know, it's nothing to get a big head about because, you know, it, it first of all, it doesn't happen all the time that people will play your music. That right, doesn't always right, happen. Right, right. I'm honored at that. But just right. to know that it flows and that it has the quality to be played amongst the greats is, is just an amazing right. feeling. I'm grateful. Okay. Well, I mean, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I would imagine it's very cool to hear your song on the radio. I've had an opportunity to interview Smokey Robinson, and he even admitted, yeah, the first time I heard my, my song, me singing on the radio, and I remember exactly where I was, and, you know, and that's Smokey Robinson. He's on the radio every day now, you know what I mean? But the first time you hear yourself, you're like, wow, you know, look, mama, I made it. <laughs> Well, but you know what? That was exactly what I did. I don't know if you guys, is, well, if you saw my Facebook post, but the first time I heard it, I was on my way to church to sing and um, it was played. It was played and um, I, I had to stop. I couldn't stop crying. I was just so overwhelmed. Like this says, don't make me cry now again. You know, this has actually, you know, all the hard work and what the song means to me is out there for the public to see. And it, it was just, it was overwhelming. I know exactly. I was on my way to church to sing <laughs> on a Sunday morning. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So we're here with uh, Levine Nichols, recording artist, whose new <laughs> single, Trust, is a song that we just played a little while ago. Um, before we get into My Soul is Anchored, because, you know, I, I love that one as well. It's really a favorite of mine. And... It, I said this before, but when I came across that on YouTube, man, it just floored me. It floored me. Um, but we're here with Levon Nichols, so real important question. How can your fans get in contact with you? What's the best way for them to uh, check out, check you out and to keep abreast of uh, what new music is coming out from Levon Nichols? Sure, I would love to get in contact with people and, and stay connected with people. So you can go to my social media. It's Levon Nichols on all my social media. I'm on Instagram, very active on um, Instagram and Facebook. Um, I have a YouTube page and I have a website. So it's www.levonnichols.com and I share updates on there. If you want to email me or book me, you can do it through there or my Instagram page. Thank you so much. Listen, when all this is over, and I extended the invitation before, but I'm going to extend it again. When all this COVID stuff is over, I would love to have you come back in the studio and uh, co-host the show with me. Because uh, you're absolutely great and so professional. And I really enjoy having you in the studio with me. You're a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity, and I will definitely take you up on that offer. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so uh, one more time, her new single is, uh, is Trust, and it's available on all the platforms where you get your music, and uh, we support it. We play it, and so <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and get your own copy as well. And so we're going to transition out of the interview and uh, into the next portion of the show. One more with another song by uh, Levon Nichols. This is her version of My Soul is Anchored. Thank you so much. Thank you. 